Have you ever wanted to turn yourself into an animated GIF? Hi, I'm Galen, I'm a web designer, and I love adding GIFs to my clients' websites just to give them a little bit of movement and a more engaging feel. I'm gonna show you how to do this in two different ways today, both using Canva, but first, here are some great examples. This is a super fun one showing off one of my clients' amazing dance moves. It just adds so much personality, and this is an example of a brand photographer that I've worked with. I just love love the energy when the photo comes to life. Here's one on my own website on a thank you page. I just love again how it brings that little element of excitement after somebody has signed up for your email list. Most people will know that they want to create a GIF before they take a photo or video, so they'll capture the image or the video with that in mind. But if you're somebody who's recently worked with a brand photographer, a lot of times they'll take five or six shots in a row trying to get that perfect expression from you. And you can take all of those shots and string them together to make a really fun animated GIF for your website. So if you've recently worked with a brand photographer and you're going through that gallery, look at the outtakes and see if maybe there's an opportunity to string those photos together into a sequence to create a really fun and expressive GIF. I'm gonna show you how to create a GIF from a video as well as a GIF from a series of images. First, let's start with the images and then I'll show you the video second. I took a series of photos of myself drinking this delicious matcha latte and now we're gonna turn them into a GIF. So let's see here, I wanna make sure I put these in order. So I'm just gonna start by picking one of the images and having it fill the screen so it fills the screen like this. That looks good. Let's do, we'll copy this. We'll drag in the next one. Let's do, actually, I think we started here. And I want to make sure I keep myself centered in there. And I can rearrange the order after. I'm just going to put these all in so you can see. Okay. And each photo that I took is just a little bit further along in the process. So I'm bringing the coffee or the matcha up. Oops, that's the same one. There's a great photo of me. And I'm trying again to keep myself in the same position and I'll show you how to check this in just a second. There's after, line it up. And then I think this is the last one. I don't even know if we need that one. I'm gonna come down here and click this uh, grid view so I can see all of the images. And I just wanna make sure that I'm kind of centered in between all of them. I actually think I'm gonna get rid of this one. And there we go. And I think this, I can rearrange the order here too. This looks good. Now that we have all of the images added, we're gonna come up here and adjust the timing of each of the slides or the pages inside of this Canva document. And because I started this as actually an Instagram post, you can see up here, I just used a regular Instagram post template. You might not see the clock as the default. And if you don't see this, one quick way to get it to show up is just to add a new slide here come over to any videos that you've added or even just upload a video directly from Canva. And then once I add a slide with or a page with a video on it, it's now gonna give me the timing options for each and every slide within this document. So we're just gonna add it and that's gonna make it so then we have this animation timing for each of the slides. We are going to now get rid of this video because we don't need it for this example. We're going to adjust this down to 0.2 seconds. We can play around with this and always change it if it doesn't look good. Apply that to all pages. There we go. And now we can hit download, share, download all pages and we wanna change this to a GIF and then we'll click save download setting because we might export this a few different times. Hit download and we are going to let this export. While that's loading, I'm gonna take a quick sip of my matcha. So good. And here we have it downloaded. If you double click to open it, it's going to open inside of the Mac 
preview app, and this will not show you your GIF with any sort of animation. The best way to preview it on a Mac is just to click on the file, hit the space bar, and you're gonna see it pops up just like that. That looks great. Next, we're gonna try to do the same thing, but let's get rid of the background. And you can actually see here, I probably could have lined this a little bit better so that my eyes are exactly the same or the background is exactly the same in each and every clip. So maybe we'll do that for next time. But for now, let's come back to Canva. We'll close down this little download section. And in each of these images, we're gonna come in here to edit image and the background remover. And we're actually gonna remove the entire background out of each and every image. So this will take a little bit of time. Again, we're gonna go through each and every image, remove the background. You can see Canva does an amazing job with this. It is so, so accurate. I'm always astonished at how well it's able to pull me out of a background, especially when it's a really busy background with plants and things going on. So edit image, background remover, we're almost done. And while Canva actually does let you remove the backgrounds from videos now, which is insane, I just haven't found that the background remover for videos is quite as good as it is for photos. So that's why I like to do this with individual photos photos versus a video clip, but I am going to show you how to do it with a video clip just for fun in just a minute. There we go. Everything looks pretty aligned now that I have the background removed. Same thing. We are going to check it in the grid view just to make sure everything looks pretty well aligned. And then I am going to export. All the settings have been saved and we'll just make this a little bit smaller. I do recommend that you make your GIF as small as possible, depending on where you're going to use it, because these file sizes can get really large, really fast, and that can slow down your website. So don't overdo it with GIFs on your website and make sure that you make the GIF as small as possible without it getting blurry. You'll be able to test it a little bit, export a few different sizes and see what size is going to work best, depending on where you're going to use it on your website. Okay, now we have the second version of our GIF. I'm going to hit the space bar to pull up that preview and you can see it looks great with a white background. Here's the one with the full image background and here's the one with the white background. Now if you want to use this on your website and have the GIF just blend seamlessly into the background, you want to try to match the background of the image in Canva with the background of the section of your website. Right now, this image itself is the background of this page. But if I come to create a new page in here, we'll come back to the images that I had. Say we pull in one of these images. I'm able to edit background remover. It's so fast. Come up here, I could change the background color. And then I can have this sort of fill the space in a way that it makes sense. And now I have this GIF on a dark background. I have to do this for every single image that I want to include in the GIF. Another thing to keep in mind is that when you export a GIF, it's going to have limited colors. So you might notice that the background color that you're seeing in Canva is slightly different from the GIF that you've exported. So in that case, you just want to take a little color picker and you want to sample the color from the background of your exported GIF and make sure it matches what you're using as a section background on your website. If that doesn't work for you and you want to totally remove the background, again, to use on your website or to even use on social media as a sticker on your Instagram stories, you can head over to unscreen.com. You can upload your clip. And this is now, as you see, has added a really nice transparent background to this GIF. I can download it. And now here's the one with the white background and here's the one with the transparent background. So I could use this over anything and it's going to show up with no background, which looks really cool. And now just for fun, I made this really cute Instagram story and added myself as a sticker. And I can actually just drag myself around the screen and uh, place myself anywhere, and I think it came out really cute. Really quickly, I'm gonna show you one more way to make a GIF, and that is from a video. I took a super short video of myself drinking coffee and uploaded it here. You could also do this with a screen share or anything, any video that you have. I'm gonna stretch it out so that it fits this entire space. 
That's a great little uh, picture of me there. We are going to edit this. I wanna trim off the very beginning all the way. I think I wanna have it trimmed right where the coffee takes up the full screen and then end right when the coffee takes up the full screen. Soon as it hits there, there we go. We don't wanna make our GIFs too long because that can also make the file size too large, which can, again, slow down your website. This is a little off center here, so I'm gonna center it a little more, hit play again. And I think I can even trim off just a little bit more in the beginning. We don't wanna to have too much time with the cup in the screen, so like right there. I'm double clicking to bring up the grid so I can crop it. There we go, let's try again. Got some nice milk foam on my face. That looks pretty good. I wanna make sure I know what page I'm on. We're on page two because I don't wanna export the rest of the images. We're just doing this video as a GIF. We're going to hit share up here, come to download. Make sure that we have only selected the current page, that's page two, and then export this as a GIF. I'm getting down to the end of my matcha here, just in time to wrap up this video, after the final reveal, of course. And here it is, the final reveal. This is the video that I turned into an animated GIF. You can see it's a lot smoother than the photo GIFs because it's not missing as many frames, but it looks really good. And I love that it loops where the coffee goes up to the screen. You can get really creative and have a ton of fun with these. Let me know in the comments how you plan to try this out on your own website. Make sure to subscribe if you like this video and I'll see you in the next one.